Hi everyone, my name is Uheb. This is a quick overview tutorial of slides and grids and to explain what it does. It is a script to create dynamic grids and slideshows and also some additional tools to help create and edit these slideshows or other templates from the internet. The script consists of different panels and functionalities which include creating grids, adding frame features, recomping items, bulk editing compositions and also some additional utilities. This tutorial doesn't include all the detailed information about each panel's options and individual controls but a brief overview that how the script works in general and its functionalities. There are also full tutorials available on the product page. The first section is for creating grids and you can easily create a grid by selecting some items from the project or layers panel and clicking on this button. It will use the settings that are saved in the grid settings dialog and you can confirm your selection by going inside and check if your selection belongs to the layers panel or the project panel. Now you can control its all properties from this controller layer and can animate the grid easily using these properties. Then you can add frame features to your grid which include masks, strokes and backgrounds. You will find its controls on the controller layer and can animate these from here as well. There are some additional utilities available for the grid to make your workflow faster and manage the grid easily. With this precomp dialog, you can precomp any items individually. You can choose the size and different options here. You can also choose how these items should fit inside their new precomps if they are not of the exact size. And also you can add margins around these. It has a background option to add background layers inside each new precomp using a specific color. And it will use shape layers as backgrounds instead of solid layers. The bulk edit comps feature is extremely helpful to edit composition placeholders in templates you download from the internet or in any of your projects. You can easily add items to these placeholders at once. You can also repeat these items if the selected ones are fewer. You can target layers in the selected compositions by their indices or names and can perform any bulk edit operation with those. You can add new layers before or after the target layers. You can also remove these target layers. You can replace target layers with new items. and you can make these target layers visible only temporarily. So in case you are working with a heavy project which has a lot of layers and effects inside these old compositions, then it will speed up the performance while working in the main composition by showing the target layers as reference. You can easily restore their visibilities later. So that was the basic introduction about each panel. You can watch their individual tutorials from the product page. A PDF user guide is also included or if you want to check a short description of these options then visit the help dialog inside each panel. You can contact us for any queries, help or feedback using this button. Thanks for watching and see you later.